question now is what is CPC? Now, the previous video I did on my YouTube channel, uh, and if you are new to this, kindly click the subscribe button. I will really appreciate it. Uh, about what is CPM, where I gave a detailed information, and uh, the link will also be in this description. You can kindly check it out. These keywords, CPC, CPA, CPM, they are terminologies that you need to have uh, as far as your marketing, your digital marketing effort is concerned. Now, CPC actually means the cost per click. So how much are you paying for every click that uh, any of the platform, whether it's Facebook or Google or Pinterest, any of the platform, how much do you pay per that click, that uh, engagement? Because we can actually drive traffic onto a website onto a store onto a product and we want to know how much we are paying per click for us to then convert the value to the sales we want to compare how much are we paying per click comparing that to how much sales are we making then let me give you an example here in this example i am saying that for instance if you have a thousand clicks to your website and the average amount you are paying that you will bill for that 1000 click is 10000 naira for instance that means per click you are actually paying 10 naira okay now if for 1000 clicks that you have paid 10000 naira that means per click you actually uh, you will charge the cpc is uh, 10 naira you want to then compare this cpc to your value to the value of this campaign so that is when we look at uh this example now if your cpc is too high considering the fact that you need to understand what is your conversion rate and of course this information this data this insight can only be gotten if you have run some campaign and you know what works for you and you then want to use that information to determine uh, is your campaign profitable or not. You cannot just, uh, you know, get this information without running a campaign. So, for instance, you are running a campaign and I'm just giving you an estimate here. So, that's why I use if. So, for instance, you have tried the campaign and you have set your funnel, but your conversion rate happens to be 3%. So it means that out of 1,000 people that visit your website through 1,000 clicks that you have, you can only, you only made 3% conversion rate, okay? Then if you are interested in how to improve this conversion rate, uh, there are some tools, there are some you know, strategies, there are some funnels that you can build that will help you improve your remarketing that will increase this uh conversion rate in the total but just for driving traffic to your website that the traffic sells your products three percent of that conversion rate is what we have just estimated so let us say the profit of uh, the sales on your product is 500 naira now if at three percent conversion rate meaning that every 1000 people that visit your website three percent of them only three percent of them will end up buying from you and that means that out of 1000 click we are looking at only 30 that will become sales now for instance if the profit on each of your products of your product is 500 naira now for your three percent conversion rate 1,000 people had actually got into your website and you have paid for your campaign, 10,000 Naira. Now, 3% of this 1,000 led to sales, making a profit of 1,000, uh, 15,000 Naira. The explanation is this. The total sales out of this 3% is 36 now the profit for each of your products is 500 now you have driven 1000 clicks to your website 
you've made three percent sales, which is just 30 sales, at the profit margin of 500 naira, making your profit 15,000 naira. So you want to now consider uh, your return on ad spent. That is another key word that we will consider. What is the return on ad spent? Okay. Now, the total amount that the campaign cost you was 10,000 naira. The total profit that you saw, profit from that campaign was 15,000 naira. Definitely, you are going to remove this cost of uh, campaign and you will now see the profit of running Facebook ads. So, when we now look at that, we now want to calculate that uh, this campaign with this uh, conversion rate at this profit amount, conversion rate of 3%, profit amount of 500 Naira, we can say that that campaign is profitable and that is not too high. Okay? But if, for instance, we made, we spent 10,000 Naira in our uh, campaign and we made a profit of 10,000 Naira, that means we only just broke even and that is not good for business but anything above this above this cost for your campaign is fair enough so you want to really consider two or three aspects of this effort you want to consider your cost you want to consider the cost per click is very very important you want to consider the conversion rate is highly important that what is the conversion rate at this stage had it been these products this campaign had a total of probably 10 percent conversion rate okay 10 percent conversion rate at these products at this profit margin of 500 naira then it means that we will be having instead of us having just theories uh, we'll be having 100 sales here yeah? We'll be having 100 sales here, and 100 sales times 500 Naira will be above this. That will be 100 times this. So that will be 50,000 Naira. So let's look at this. I did mean we have 10% conversion rates and our profit is 500 naira from this click we have 10 percent conversion rates at 500 naira will give us uh 50 thousand naira so we are spending 10 thousand naira to generate a profit margin of 50 thousand naira meaning that probably that is uh 400 percent or 500 percent a profit margin so we can systematically leave this system as an automation and we will keep making profit from that same you know funnel you now you cannot automate it now making it an auto funnel the traffic keeps going to the websites the conversion is still okay and we still keep making our profits uh, at the end of all the sales and that is important so you really want to understand uh your 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 cpc your conversion rate and you want to understand how much are you then spending your return on ad spent uh with this you also want to probably do some other research like uh from this world stream uh this is an average for google google ad work industry uh, benchmark this is the average uh, click through rates you know on some of these uh, industries different industries for search and uh, the google display and of course you can also do more information about more research about uh, different platform this is just uh from google we, they are also for from facebook pinterest and what have you so you want to get this information you want to be able to calculate your growth your profit your uh, your loss and if it is not profitable you really want to stop the ad and you want to know what is not converting is it the sales page that is not converting is it the campaign that is not well targeting targeted to your 
uh, your specific audience? Is it that the cost of running your CPC, the cost of, for the CPC is high? You, so you want to know this information in order to improve your campaign. Uh, if you have found some lessons from this discussion and you see it as uh, very, very beneficial, kindly give it a thumbs up, like, share it, and be a part of my community. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any question, kindly put in the comment section. We would all love to read and learn from one another. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye for now.